Wideband audio, also known as HD voice, is high-definition voice quality for telephony audio, contrasted with standard digital telephony tall quality. It extends the frequency range of audio signals transmitted over telephone lines, resulting in higher quality speech. The range of the human voice extends from 80 Hz to 14 kHz but traditional, voice band or narrow band telephone calls limit audio frequencies to the range of 300 Hz to 3.4 kHz wideband audio relaxes the bandwidth limitation and transmits in the audio frequency range of 50 Hz to 7 kHz or higher. History In 1987, the International Telecommunication Union standardized a version of wideband audio known as G722. Radio broadcasters began using G722 over integrated services digital network to provide high-quality audio for remote broadcasts, such as commentary from sports venues. AMRWB was developed by Nokia and VoiceAge and it was first specified by 3GPP. The traditional telephone network is generally limited to narrow band audio by the intrinsic nature of its transmission technology, TDM, and by the analog to digital converters used at the edge of the network, as well as the speakers, microphones and other elements in the endpoints themselves. Wideband audio has been broadly deployed in conjunction with video conferencing. Providers of this technology quickly discovered that despite the explicit emphasis on video transmission, the quality of the participant experience was significantly influenced by the fidelity of the associated audio signal. Communications via voice over Internet protocol can readily employ wideband audio. When PC-to-PC -PC calls are placed via VoIP services, such as Skype, and the participants use a high-quality headset, the resulting call quality can be noticeably superior to conventional PSTN calls. Some of the handsets manufactured by Nokia which run S60 and Series 40 OS that support VoIP also support wideband audio. A number of audio codecs have emerged to support these services, supplementing G722. Manufacturers of audio conferencing equipment have introduced wideband capable models that include support for G722 over VoIP. Conference calls are a direct beneficiary of the enhancements offered by wideband audio. Participants often struggle to figure out who is talking, or to understand accented speakers. Misunderstandings are commonplace due primarily to generally poor audio quality and an accumulation of background noise. Some listener benefits cited are wideband audio compared to traditional, clearer overall sound quality, easier to recognize voices, distinguish confusing sounds and understand accented speakers, ease of deciphering words that have the close sounds of a Euro ZAR Euro unregistered trademark and a Euro FAR Euro unregistered trademark and others, often indistinguishable over telephone lines, ability to hear faint talkers and to understand double talk, reduced listening effort, resulting in increased productivity and lessened listener fatigue, better understanding in the face of other impairments, such as when talkers are using a speakerphone or in the presence of background noise, despite its reputation for poor audio quality, the mobile telephone industry has started to make some progress on wideband audio. The 3GPP Standards Group has designated G722.2 as its wideband codec and calls it Advanced Multi to Euro Wideband. A few handsets have been produced supporting this codec, for example, HTC. Nokia, Samsung and Sony, and network demonstrations have been conducted. Deployment, as business telephone systems have adopted VoIP technology, support for wideband audio has grown rapidly. Telephone sets from Avaya, Cisco, and EC Unified Solutions, Grandstream, Gigaset, Polycom, SNOM, Audio Codes and others now incorporate G722, as well as varying degrees of higher quality audio components. Suppliers of integrated circuits for telephony equipment, including DSP Group, Broadsom, Infineon, and Texas Instruments, include wideband audio in their feature portfolios. There are audio conferencing service providers that support wideband connections from these and other VoIP endpoints, while also permitting PSTN participants to join the conference in narrow band. 
Sipxtopy is an open-source solution for VoIP media processing engine supporting wideband and HD voice that provides a TP and codex through a Plugin framework for use with SIP and other VoIP protocols. Skype uses an audio codec called Silk which allows for extremely high-quality audio. A number of carriers around the world have rolled out HD voice services based on the G722 wideband standard. In North America, hosted service providers have recently deployed the Astra HiQ upgrade to its installed user base and as of January 2010 claimed around 70,000 HD voice endpoints. Consumer service provider Uma has an estimated 25,000 HD voice endpoints deployed stemming from its rollout of his second-generation Telo hardware. After years of trials, AMRWB was made commercially available in September 2009, when Orange launched the world's first high-definition voice service for mobile phones in Moldova, the first time since the 1990s that mobile voice technologies have been subject to a significant evolution. The first mobile handset integrating high-definition voice capability launched by Orange Moldova is the Nokia 6720C, which integrates WBAMR. Orange has since rolled out HD voice in the UK, France, Belgium, Romania, Armenia, Dominican Republic and Spain, with Switzerland and Luxembourg due to follow. Moreover, Orange has announced that will ensure HD voice interoperability between Orange countries for both mobile and fixed networks, interoperability with other operators and looking to launch HD voice over their 2G networks as well, by 2013-2014. As of September 2014, GSA a report announces 116 commercial mobile HD voice networks launched in 75 countries. Wideband codec, following a wideband codex used in telecommunication. Equals ITUT equals, G711.1, G718, G722, G722.1, G722.2. G729.1 equals other equals extended adaptive multi rater Euro wideband speaks Skype Silk Microsoft Rate Audio variable rate multi mode wideband Internet speech audio codec Opus. See also wideband voice list of smartphones using HD voice references external links www.hdvoiceandnews.com A Euro HD Voice News, The Effect of Bandwidth on Speech Intelligibility A Euro Polycom Technical White Paper, tmcnet.com HD Voice Community, VoIP Transitioning to High Definition Voice A Euro Info World Blog on Wideband Audio, Texas Instruments HD Audio Website, Can You Hear What I Mean? Polycom Delivers HD Voice A Euro Sponsored IDC White Paper, International Telecommunications Union, HD Voice Cookbook.